Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and kind of demonstration of how this works. The Chulux Coffee um, Maker. It's a single serve K-cup coffee machine. Check my video description. I'm going to put a link to it in Amazon, but it comes in several different colors. And it usually goes for around 40. Some of the other colors are a little more expensive, but very neat looking. Comes in a very small box. Very nice neat box we're gonna let's unbox it and see what we get it's a lot smaller than I was anticipating but... comes very well packaged yeah this thing is a lot lot smaller than I was anticipating Okay, so we got this. I got like a drip tray. Yeah, this thing is super small. I don't know how pictures pictures can make things look bigger, but why it was really anticipating something bigger, but very, very small footprint. No cord storage. Comes with a manual. Looks like it's got pretty good instructions. Yeah, it's 120 volts, 60 hertz, 800 watts. So we're gonna go through this manual. We're gonna do all the setup, and we're gonna. I'll even do a separate video on how to descale it. Okay, so let's go over dimensions really quick. So front to back, you're looking at about seven and a half. Side to side, about four and a half. And height wise is about nine and a half. So you gotta turn this handle to the unlock position. And then there's kind of a spring, spring that opens it up. So with it all the way open, it is a little tall, 15, but it'll fit underneath the standard kitchen cabinet just fine. So here we have the needle. Looks like a very, it's a plastic needle that punctures the top of it. You've got this little filter. This is where the water goes. So that's just to keep like big chunks to go through the machine. Not, not really purify the water, just to kind of keep stuff out of there. Then you've got the bottom needle. That's where the K-cup goes. So when we put our K-cup in, it's gonna pierce the top and the bottom. And over here, it's got, these instructions are on there permanently. It's got a power button. This drip tray was a little tricky to remove. There's that. And then oh, you gotta lift up and it comes out. So you don't pull it straight out, you lift it up a little bit and then it comes right out. Okay. That's kind of cute. So this thing has an overall very plasticky feel. Um then you're gonna lock that. But it is a very small footprint. Feels well built for being all plastic. It feels kind of solid. So I measured the cord. The cord is a little over, it's 38 inches long, almost a little over three feet long. So it's got this big warning label on the extension cord. So we want to run some water through it first to kind of clean it. It says add at least five ounces of water, but don't exceed 12 ounces. Use original K cups and Push coffee capsule onto the right place before closing lid. The light flashes normally during the heat process and continues until brewing is finished. It is suggested to descale and clean the machine every two weeks. So I'll, I'll do a separate video on descaling. Okay, so the premise behind this coffee maker is you're going to put in the K cup, you're going to put in whatever water you want to brew. So 5 to 12 ounces of water. So I brew my K-Cups on 8 ounces, so I've got to put the exact amount 8 ounces in here. And then I'm going to press the brew button, and then whatever water I put in the reservoir is what it's going to brew through the K-Cup. So here you have a little fancier Keurig machine, the K-Express. And it's got a water reservoir, and then you just press. You want 6 ounces, 8 ounces. So these are a little bit nicer in that respect. So this one I've got to do a little more work. I've got to add the the uh, the right amount of water first 
but I can vary that anywhere from 5 to 12 ounces. So today I'll be using a measuring cup, but you're going to get used to whatever you brew your coffee at. So here I've got a coffee mug, and when I do 8 ounces, I think it comes to right about here. So you're going to realize that your coffee always comes to about here. You're just going to go to the sink and probably fill this up with water, and then you're going to dump it into the machine, and then you're going to brew your coffee. You're going to get used to that. But today I'll be using a measuring cup because it's got exact amounts on it. Okay, so we're going to run some fresh water through it first. It says to do that to kind of clean the inside of the machine. We're going to turn the handle to the unlock. This kind of springs up. The nice thing is it does stay up. So when it comes up, it doesn't want to fall down because that is a sharp needle. So be very careful of that sharp needle. So I'm going to put 10 ounces. I've got the unit plugged in too also. I'm just going to put 10 ounces of water right here. It's got a nice big opening for the water to go into. And you may, it's got a little area, you know, you may not hit. You definitely should try to put the water right there, but it does have a little area for the water to sit into, in which it does eventually drain in there, just a little slower. So again, we're gonna leave this empty this time. We're just, this is, these are called fresh water rinses. So we're gonna close it. I gotta make sure and turn this to the lock and make sure it kind of snaps. Make sure we get our cup in here. And then we're just gonna press the start button. Now it's flashing to let us know that it's heating the water and then it's gonna brew it. We're just gonna, that's gonna run the hot water through the machine. So it's not super loud. I can hear some water boiling in there, but not super loud. It's gradually getting a little bit louder, but still not very, not, not extremely loud. Okay, so it's been about, about a minute and a half, two minutes. So it's kind of cycling. It kind of heats the water and then it stops, heats it again and stops. I've never heard machines do that. Normally they heat the water once. So now the, it kicked the water pump on and we've got water coming out. This is just a cleaning rinse, but that water is about 175. That's pretty, pretty hot water, 190. So it's not loud when it's uh, brewing the water. Again, this is just a cleaning rinse. We're going to take this to the sink and throw it out. And now we'll be ready to use the coffee maker. And again, that took about two and a half minutes. So almost you're under three minutes by the time it's done. And then you can kind of hear a pump running when it's done. Okay. Okay, so before I brew a, a cup of coffee, I, there's one thing that's kind of... This is kind of small. I didn't realize how small it was. You can kind of tilt your glass and get it in there. But I'm not used to that being that small. So let's measure. So four and a half inches. That is really, really short. You know, not even, yeah, four and a half inches. Can we take this out? We can get a little bit more room, but then you run the possibility of it not being stable on those. It's not necessarily a flat surface. So I'm not sure if that's the best option, but. And then it's not very deep. So you're only looking at about three and a half inches deep. So let's just see how some wider mugs. So yeah, they fit up. This is a pretty wide mug. It fits pretty good. Here's kind of a taller mug. So taller mugs, they go in okay. You just got to tilt it. So that's nice and it looks like so this mug is five inches so five inches you could probably go up to a five and a half inch mug maybe okay so we're gonna brew just a standard Keurig K cup um, you can look on the box sometimes they tell you what to brew them at Starbucks is really good at that they'll say brew this K cup on eight ounces I've just found the eight ounces is a really good setting but the nice thing about cure eggs and different things, so if, if if you want to brew this on six ounces or five ounces, you'll be perfectly fine. It's just not a lot of coffee. You can even run up to 12 ounces of water through this K-cup. I found that that's pretty watered down, but 
if that's how you like it, then that this machine will let you do that. So let's open up the machine. Again, I like this is very I like this. It just springs up a little bit, but it stays up. That's very important. That needle could come down and hurt you. So that that is very well made. Now, the directions on the extension cord said to push the K-cup down, but I didn't see it in the manual. So let's try it. So push the K-cup down. And by pushing it down, what I did is I pierced that bottom. So see there's a there's a hole in it now. I pushed it down onto that needle. Now let's try it. Let's just let's not pierce it and see what happens. So it did a it did an okay job with without pushing it down. So I would probably recommend maybe pushing it down. The machine is sturdy enough that you can push on this. It's not going to tip over. So I would I would probably pierce the bottom of it. But if you forget and put the lid down, you're going to be okay that way too. So again, very simple. Just make sure you've got it into, lock, into the lock position. Well, I forgot to add the water. <laughs> okay. So I've got my, again, I've got a measuring cup. I've got eight ounces. I'm going to pour the water. right in again you're going to get used to you can just fill your glass up with tap water filtered water but they don't recommend using distilled water and then you could just use your glass to pour it in and then you would put your your cup underneath there you're going to put your cake up in close the lid turn it to lock come over here press the brew button that light starts to flash blue and in under three minutes we should have a cup of coffee so again, you can hear the water um, boiling in there. But what I found is, so it, you'll hear it kind of heating up and then it, it stops. Then it heats up and then stops and then it comes out. Normally they just heat up once and then it kind of shoots the water through the cake up. But it's going to heat, it's heating that water you put in and then it's going to shoot it through that cake up. And again, the blue light is flashing. When it's done with the brew, the, the blue light will go out. So again here, yeah, see how it stopped and then started again. That's a little unusual, but I think it'll be okay. Okay, so in about two minutes, your coffee starts to come out. The temperature coming out to about 190, but coffee cools off real quick. So it's not super loud when it's got the pump on and running it through the K-cup. I don't notice any leaks anywhere. So you will hear a pump run for a little bit when it's done. That's normal. It, okay, then it's done. The blue light's off. And your coffee's ready. So in under three minutes, you've got a cup of coffee. All right. Oops. Yeah. Getting it out. So getting it out can be a little tricky. I just tried to pull the cup out and it catches that lip. So be careful because that's hot coffee. Okay. So yeah, about a 170. That's a really hot cup of coffee. Now you are noticing it is dripping. So we do get a little bit of drippage afterwards and the drip tray is catching it. So that's good. Let's look at cleanup now. So we're just gonna turn this knob. There's our cake up. The top needle doesn't look like we got any, yeah, we got a few coffee grounds around it. And then be careful, this can be hot. It's got a little place for your fingers right here and here. You're just gonna lift the cake up up. There's how it did. So this is a really hot cup of coffee, but it actually tastes really good. Um, this machine, it does a pretty good job of brewing a cup of coffee. You don't get a lot of features of, like Keurigs will give you a lot more features of brew strength and different things, but this is just your standard brewing a K-cup. Okay, so I like to cut K-cups open. Again, it pierced the top and it pierces the bottom. I did get a little bit there, but let's cut it open and see what happened. 
Okay, so I cut the bottom open. Your coffee's in a nice filter. Okay, so in a K-cup, you've got two tablespoons of coffee grounds in the paper filter. Now, the paper filter prevents sediment in your coffee. So it looks like it did a really good job with the coffee grounds. Yeah, it sends pretty hot water through there. So everybody's gonna ask me about taste. You know, I'm not a coffee expert by no means, but this, it does taste like a pretty good cup of coffee. It's a very basic machine, but it actually did make a pretty good cup of coffee. So let's just go over, so I'm gonna show you that fresh water rinse one more time, because we do have some coffee grounds up here. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna just do a fresh water rinse on these once in a while. So your fresh water rinse can be anywhere from six to 12 ounces. I like to put around 10 ounces in, so just put your water in. Again, make sure there's no cake up. Just close the lid and do a brew. So I always like to read the box. It says it's got auto shut off. Yeah, it shuts off after about three or four minutes. So that's nice. Removable drip tray, fast brewing, two to three minutes. Yeah, that worked. And it says it uses a reusable filter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another video with a reusable filter. So I'll do another video where I try out these uh, reusable K-cups. Put your own coffee grounds in here and see if it works in this machine. So I want to show you these freshwater rinses. You may, when you do them, you may get some coffee grounds in there. And that's normal. And that's kind of why you do these freshwater rinses, to kind of just clean out the inside of the machine a little bit. Yeah, I can already see some coffee grounds in there. You see quite a few coffee grounds in there. So I don't have any coffee grounds in my coffee. That's because the K-cup prevents them, but the top needle will get some coffee grounds on them. And then that's kind of what you're cleaning here. Again, don't try to open this lid while it's still brewing. Let it finish. The brew light or the blue light's gonna go out. Now I can open it up. And so what that does is it it does help clean. I got a few more coffee grounds up there, maybe. But yeah, it cleans that bottom needle area. And those freshwater rinses are just really good to do. So cleaning is a little tricky. The only thing that I see that comes out, so this filter basket you'll be able to clean. This part right here kind of uns you quarter turn it and then it comes out you can clean that um, yeah this does not come out normally on Keurigs you can take out this filter basket but no it doesn't come out it's molded into this big plastic piece so this can be this will definitely need cleaned once in a while you can see there's four little uh, areas for the water to come out and again you just push it on and then quarter turn it I'm gonna do another video on how to clean the needles. I'm gonna do another video how to clean it with white vinegar. And I'm also gonna do another video on reusable K-cups. So you can do tea K-cups, hot chocolate K-cups. You know, this will take any standard K-cup. Um, I'm very impressed with it, but boy is it, you know, it's lightweight, but it feels well-made, if that makes any sense. Um, it's just so small. I was not expecting it to be this small. But uh, this definitely has a place. Um, very easy to use. You don't have the, some of the features of the Keurig. You don't have a water tank. It's gonna brew um, your water each time you put it in. Um, it looks really nice. You know, the only thing is, so yeah, they're having that nozzle down a little low. The coffee pot or the coffee cup didn't fit in there the greatest. But all in all, yeah. Oh, and clean up, yeah, you could clean. You know, you're gonna wanna clean up this too, but. So thanks everybody for for watching. Uh, just this week I surpassed 4,000 subscribers. Thanks everybody for that. It would not be possible without all the viewers. I can't tell you thank you enough. Again, check my description. I'm going to have a link to this on Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate now. I do get a little bit of money if you click on that link. It'll help with um, the cost of doing my reviews. And again, thanks everybody for watching. And if you could, please like and subscribe.